I think the fact that I had to rewrite the number one spot on this list kind of tells me that I'm hitting pretty close to the mark with these wish lists. Hello there, welcome back to the channel. I am Grand Moff Tony. Well, today we are moving on with my wish list series to Obi Wan Kenobi. I love this series. I mean, when you know the destination, the story becomes about the journey. Like, how do we go from the broken man hiding on Tatooine to the man that ultimately sacrifices himself on the Death Star? knowing that the galaxy is safe in the hands of the next generation. How do we make that journey? And Obi-Wan Kenobi encapsulated it perfectly, even if I will continue to call it Kenobi for as long as I live, because I just think the title's too long. This series played with some really important themes about how we move on from trauma and like the different ways that we cope with that trauma and constructive ways that we do it and destructive ways that we do it. And I just found the whole experience fantastic. So I'm going to be going through today five characters that I need to see come to the Black Series from Kenobi. I'm going to be sticking to my usual rules. Uh, no vehicles, no Haslabs. We're just talking regular release and we're talking deluxe release. Although I will say there are a few items on this list that fall into a new category, which I call Twin Packs. The Black Series has been knocking Twin Packs out of the park lately. So with the increasing number of these sets, yeah, I'm going to start throwing out some ideas that I would like to see come to the Black Series. If you can get an opportunity to have two characters in the same set, I think it's a brilliant choice. Kicking things off, let's look at some honorable mentions. First of all, I'd like to see Freck come to the line. You know, that weird little star-nosed mole-faced alien that just immediately, like, looks like he's a really nice guy and then immediately sells them out to the Empire at the first opportunity. I mean, the Black Series always does a great job with alien head sculpts, and this is probably one of my favorite recent alien head sculpts. So I'd love to see this guy come to the line. I think he'd be a brilliant figure. For another honorable mention, I gotta throw some love out to Rose the leader of the path and an absolute joy of a character. This is someone who has taken in so many refugees and has just taken their safety as his personal mission and I just think he's a brilliant character. I'd love to see this guy come to us in figure form. I really like the idea of getting more and more of these early days of the rebellion characters into the Black series. So Roken would be a great way to start doing that. It was actually kind of tricky to come up with picks for this list because the Black Series has done a brilliant job of getting all of the real heavy hitters in this show in our hands already. And with Battle Damage Vader coming down the pipes, they're really thinking about this show. But with the honorable mentions out of the way, let's get into the list. Coming in at number five, we have Tala Durith. Now, I know what you're thinking. She's already coming. Yeah, she's coming in an Imperial officer disguise, and as much as I need that figure and I need that female Imperial officer body, I really want to get a rebel get-up version of Tala into the line because that's who she really is. That's her on the inside. That is the genuine version of Tala. She was such a great character, and I need to get a figure of her. Part of the reason why I want to get this figure into the line so badly is it would be so cool to put the two figures together, like the Imperial Officer Disguise version of Tala and the genuine true version of Tala, and just have them standing next to each other as a real contrast of how far she was able to go to help save these Jedi kids. We already have Ned B in the line, so Tala is just a natural inclusion. But I think making the important distinction that I want the rebel version of Tala as well as the Imperial officer, it just shouts the fact that I'm prepared to buy this character twice. I will buy that officer version and I will buy this version. She's a fantastic character, so she's an easy pick for me. Tala comes in at number five. At number four, I would like to see Haja Estri come to the line. The rogue fake Jedi con man. I think this would be a brilliant inclusion in the line. Star Wars loves to bring us these like questionable roguish characters with hearts of gold underneath that just need that one opportunity to do the right thing. And Haja was brilliant in the show. He goes from being someone that Obi-Wan like doesn't trust and actually quite resents to someone that he's prepared to leave Leia with at the end. So 
he can go and fight Vader. I just think he's a brilliant character, and he could be a fantastic inclusion. This is, again, someone that could come with a pair of appearances. We could see Haja in his fake Jedi getup that just comes off as a soft goods robe with his real clothes underneath. That, and you could have a ton of fun with a bunch of little accessories for him to play around with when he's doing his Jedi performance. You could even really push the boat out and throw in, like, his table and chair. I know, I ranted and raved in the last episode about wanting to get that ISB table into the line. I'm obviously just obsessed with tables. I want to get tables. I want more tables in the Black Series. They should be the top of all my lists. I want tables. But I feel like that would be a brilliant diorama opportunity. You could have Haja sitting at his table, surrounded by his little pieces of gear, just looking really, really pleased with himself and super mysterious as this little underground jet I character. I love it. I think it'd be fantastic. It's an opportunity for a great head sculpt and some really fun accessories. Haja Estri comes in at number four. The shadows are my realm for the light. It's an unforgiving place for my kind. Of course. At number three, you have the first of my little twin pack ideas with Owen and Baru Lars. These characters were so cool. Like, they had such a fleeting appearance in the prequel trilogy. I am so glad they got the opportunity to come back and play these characters again because they are perfect for the role. And the series really expanded on just how much they considered Luke to be their own child. And I just think that's so important. It builds up the relationship between Luke and his aunt an uncle, so that when they are tragically ripped away from him, it hurts even more. This would be a relatively simple set. It would just be the two of them in the box. Maybe you could include some fun little Tatooine accessories, like a little jug of blue milk, for instance. Why not? It's Star Wars. But obviously, we all know that Aunt Beru is packing. She's got those rifles stashed away. So yeah, include those. Let's get that pipe from the Death Star trash compactor that I'm pretty sure Owen wallops the third sister with. These are just two incredibly important Star Wars characters that I feel like need to get more figure representation. They are so important. They protected Luke for 19 years before he was whisked off onto his little adventure to save the galaxy. And then they were you know, left on Tatooine in charred ruins. But before they end up like that, I just want to get some proper figure representation of them. They're so brilliant, they play the parts so well, and they could be fantastic Black Series figures. Owen and Baru Lars come in at number three. He is my own. At number two, he has made my list before and now I'm slapping him in a two-pack. It's Bale and Breha Organa, another great pair of fantastic Star Wars parents that we finally got to spend some more time with. And yeah, I need to get them in the Black Series because these characters are so important. I've already talked about Bale quite at length in my previous video on Revenge of the Sith, but it would just be such an easy conversion using existing parts to take that Dryden Voss figure and just just adapt it into a really satisfying Bail Organa. But being as Twin Packs is kind of the running theme of this list, I want to put the Queen of Alderaan into this box as well, because it's one of the only opportunities that we get to spend any time with this character, and just seeing what a fantastic mother she is to Leia, it just made me fall in love with her completely out of nowhere. So I need to get a figure of her on my shelf. I don't care if twin packs are technically cheating. My channel, I make the rules. I need to get these two in figure form because they are just so perfect. For accessories, I'm not really sure what I would include in the box. Maybe some like party favors, more of those um, cups that you got with Bib Fortuna for absolutely no reason at all. I just think, you know, something to fill the box out to make it worth picking up both of them. I mean, I would pick up both of them if it was just them in the box, but I know a lot of people like to have more accessories on these twin packs. So yeah, throw in some cool like dinner plates and cups and world building accessories that you can really use to fill out an Alderaan party diorama. I just need to get these two characters into the Black Series because they're so important to the Star Wars story. And again, like Owen and Baru, their story is viciously cut short far too soon. Bale and Bray Organa come in at number two. We can never repay you. I fear for her future. The Empire grows stronger and bolder 
But the number one character from Obi-Wan Kenobi that I need to see come to the Black Series is Leia Organa. It's Kid Leia. Vivian Lyra Blair blew this part out of the water. She was such a good Leia. I thought she really embodied everything that made Carrie Fisher's take on the role so charming. You can see streaks of the great leader that she's going to be one day mixed in with this character of a child that just wants to have a regular childhood. She's such a great character and with young children coming into the Black Series now, like we've had Omega, now we're getting Kid Anakin, which I uh, correctly uh, anticipated on my Phantom Menace wish list. Just saying. We need to get more of these child characters into the line and Leia is a great place to start with that. She goes through a number of different appearances throughout the show, so you could really pick any of them. I kind of like the green outfit that she wears when Obi-Wan first picks her up, like when she's in disguise and she really kind of resembles Leia's Endor look. I really like that look. It's brilliant. But if you want to go just with the regular Alderanian garb or the outfit that she ends up wearing at the end when she adopts uh, Tala's holster into her outfit, I would go with any of them. Just, I need this character in the Black Series. I guess I kind of thought when I was writing this that two twin packs was enough, but really, if we're talking about a pint-sized figure, why could we not include a little Kitty Luke in there as well? He's got such a fleeting role in the series, he only really pops up for a little bit, but it's such a great characterization of him, and just to have the two Skywalker twins, I think that would be brilliant. I've always wanted, like, the babies from Revenge of the Sith, I wanted to get those in the line, but if I have to settle for just getting Kid Leia and Kid Luke, I'll be happy with that. Accessories, I feel like, are pretty obvious. She's gotta come with Lola. Lola came with Kenobi, but I feel like it's another opportunity to get that Lola figure into the line. And the little flying base that she comes with, so it looks like she's hovering over your hand. I think that would be a brilliant inclusion. But yeah, this is the figure that I need to see the most from this show. Kitty Leia Organa is the number one character from Obi-Wan Kenobi that I need to see come to the Black series. Both were exceptional people who bore an exceptional daughter. I wish I could tell you more. It's okay. You don't have to. So there you have it, five characters from Obi-Wan Kenobi that I would love to see come to the Black Series. I would gladly drop modern day prices on them because I'm, I'm sitting here asking for them. I, I would not be a very good consumer of this collection if I didn't ask for figures and pay for them as well. I'm still really miffed that I had that battle-damaged Vader sitting there as my number one pick and then Star Wars Celebration comes around and they just have to reveal it. See, it's just today. I gotta get to my videos quicker. I gotta, I gotta move things along. So let me pass this topic off to you. What are five characters that you would like to see come to the Black Series from the Kenobi series? I'm always interested to hear your thoughts, so pop them down below in the comments and I'll get back to each and every one of you. Next time on my Wishlist series, we're getting things back to the movies and we will be looking at five characters from Solo A Star Wars Story that I need to see come to this line. I feel like it's unlikely that we'll get any more. Solo kind of had its time in the Black Series and then was quietly forgotten about, but I feel like like the recent changing of opinion on the movie from a bunch of people in the fan base might entice Hasbro to make some more figures for it. And as you're watching this, I'm not actually here. Through the wonders of modern technology, I'm actually in the UK as you're watching this. And next week on the channel, I will be uploading a very, very special UK edition toy hunt. So keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, however, I've been Grand Moff Tony. Those were my top five Black Series wishlist picks for Obi-Wan Kenobi. You may subscribe when ready.